So we're working on this 2011 Ram 1500 uh, Hemi with a six-speed automatic transmission and it keeps setting a, a fault code for the 2-4 pressure switch rationality error and a uh, fourth clutch solenoid circuit problem. Uh, right now with the key on engine not running it shows the 2-4 uh, C2 switch closed and it should be open. All switches should be open. I've disconnected connector 4 at the tra at the engine control computer which goes to the transmission among other things and all of the circuits so show open at that point so now I'm going to disconnect it at the transmission underneath here. This engine was recently removed this connector on the side of the transmission here. I'm going to pull that connector down. I'm going to try anyways. Okay, I'm going to stop videoing here. So as soon as I unplug the connector at the transmission, it shows that that switch is now open. So that tells me that the switch has malfunctioned inside the transmission. And it's not a wiring issue, which I find hard to believe, but so I've got the connector at the transmission unplugged. I had looked inside this connector. I'm going to check all these pins and make sure there's no... Well, it would be open. It wouldn't be closed. And the, there was a little pebble in the bottom of this connector from when they had this transmission connector unplugged. But I fished that out and the connector's completely seated and there's no bent pins in there, so... That theoretically means the 2-4 pressure switch inside the transmission has failed for some reason, which is odd. Chrysler troubleshooting chart for this problem calls for the use of a, uh, uh, a breakout box and a simulator, and I obviously don't have that. So I'm checking continuity through this uh, transmission range switch assembly here and you can see from focus pin 20 all the way over to pin 19 up here we're measuring the resistance of these resistors in here and everyone measures okay 302 302 302 this one which is the 2c pressure switch signal which is what's setting the fault code measures infinite from pin 30 to pin 19, 28, and 38 it looks like. So I'm going to check continuity of this wire. Come on, focus. From pin 30 down to the transmission connector, pin 15. Hopefully we're going to find that that wire is open. So I've got the ohmmeter connected to pin 30 at the engine control computer of the transmission connector C4, which is a dark green and yellow wire, and pin 15 at the transmission computer. And it shows continuity. Yet when it's plugged in, it should show resistance through that resistor and then back out like it does on all the other circuits. So I think it's fairly conclusive that this resistor is open in the computer or in the actual valve body switch. Ay ay ay. So that means pulling the valve body down. Okay, I'm gonna check that fourth clutch as well. So the 4C control solenoid is pin 2 at connector 4, so I've got one pin of the ohmmeter connected to that circuit, which is a yellow dark green wire, which goes to pin 19, where are we here, goes to pin 19 here at the transmission connector, and I show 0 ohms resistance on that wire, so I'm going to go back up to the engine control computer on the transmission connector here and test all of the solenoids 
based on this electrical circuit from pin 38 to pin 4, 11, 10, 8, 1, 2, and 6, and see if they all measure relatively the same resistance. So I tested all of those solenoid circuits. Strange thing is I do not have a wire in pin 1 for the overdrive control solenoid. And as far as I can tell, this is the correct schematic. Uh, just one of the many little glitches of information so far on this job. 0.87 ohms on this wire, 0.87 ohms on this wire, 0 0.87, 0 0.87, 3.12 on this LPVFS. So that might be a, a different solenoid. And 0 0.92 on this one. This wire doesn't exist. I did not pay attention if there was a wire in pin 7 down at the transmission. But there's definitely a problem with that 2C pressure switch circuit inside the valve body or above the valve body. So I'm going to have to see how that's serviced. So we're back on this uh, 2011 Dodge Ram uh, 5.7 Hemi with the 5 speed automatic transmission and the P0846 fault code second clutch pressure switch rationality. I'm 90% certain that we need this, that this actual resistor has failed internally in the transmission. But today I obtained a used transmission connector from the wrecking yards and I have pulled all the wiring harness down here. So from this used connector, so that I've got all these wires pinned and I can actually test the resistance between 10, 11, 10, 14, 10, 15, 10, 16, and 10, 18. 10, 15 is the one in question. When I tested it from the PCM uh, at pin 30 of the PCM back here, it tested open, yet I was going from 30 to 19, which is basically the same two circuits. It tested open at 30 at the PCM, yet this circuit has continuity. So there's no opens or, or shorts to ground or shorts between wires on that circuit. So I'm going to try to qualify this again one more time. So I'm just going to set up the meter. So I have the ohmmeter connected between pin 10 at the transmission connector. It's impossible to get up there with a test lead trying to use a mirror and pin 15 as you can see here. I've got these wires tagged so they go to the appropriate terminals in the transmission and that should read approximately 300 ohms and it reads infinite. By comparison if I move it over to pin 11 let's see if we can find pin 11 here or wire 11 that's wire 11 so if I put the multimeter on wire 11 That's on wire 11, not 12, 11. And 11 is the fourth clutch pressure switch, and it shows 300 ohms. So definitely there is an open in the 2C pressure switch resistor here, which would result in uh, the computer not seeing a voltage on that circuit. It would see low voltage on that circuit, which would be the same as the switch being closed. And that's what it shows in the scan tool. It shows the switch closed when it should be open. And then that sets a rationality code, and it puts it into fourth, fourth gear by default. So this thing definitely needs a, uh, solenoid body uh, switch assembly. I'm going to test the resistances of the solenoids while I'm here as well. So I can't get past the idea that this problem occurred right after this transmission or this engine was removed. And if you remember, I found a little stone stuck in the bottom of this connector. So as I was putting together this video to upload it tonight, I started thinking about this connector again and wondered, what if I missed one of the pins that's crooked or something in there? So I don't know if it's gonna show up very well, but if you look carefully at the pins in this mirror, you'll see that there's a pin third row down, second from the left, 
that is pushed over. That is pin 15. No wonder it's an open circuit because it's in, it's not in the connector. So I'm going to have to see if I can straighten that pin out. Damn. How did I miss that? I looked at it with a bore scope. I looked at it with a mirror, but I didn't see that. Oh well, sometimes it pays to go back and check one more time. So I managed to straighten out that pin with a small pick, a 90 degree pick and a mirror and I've got it reconnected and I've cleared the codes from the computers. I'm going to look at the transmission data and see if that 2C pressure switch shows correct now. I was going to measure it with a ohmmeter from the connector at the ECM, but I figured what the heck, why don't I just look at the data, see if it shows correct in the data. There we go, 2C pressure switch shows open now where it was closed before. Oh my goodness sakes, all that screwing around for one bent pin. But you know what? It happened when the transmission connector was unplugged during the engine removal and this little pebble fell in there. But I didn't see it when I looked up there, and I must have looked up there half a dozen times. Oh well. It's hard to believe that that, plug, that connector would plug in with that bent terminal off to one side. This is what that connector looks like from the top. So pin 15 is this one right here. So it was bent going off to the side and it was, it was touching that pin. I wonder if that pin, that's 19. You know what? That's the fourth clutch. 15 and 19. So when I plugged it in, it would push that pin over against this terminal inside that hole and, sh and, and it would actually, yeah, when it, when the pressure switch changed state, it would ground out the fourth clutch as well. Well, I guess we'll go for a road test now and see if the transmission shifts properly.